Hello Falcons! Today we're going to be learning about the sequence of events and how to put events into a sequence or to put them into chronological order. We will be reading a story from your language arts booklet, Confronting Challenges. If you do not have your booklet in front of you, please pause the video now to go and get your booklet. If you do not have a booklet, that is okay. Just follow along with me in this video. Rabbit and Coyote is a story on pages four and five of your booklet. This is a story that was part of your assignments right after school closed, so you should be familiar with it. We're gonna be working with it to find the events so that when we're done reading, we can make a sequence of events. Before we can even start, we need to talk about what an event actually is. So an event is something in a story that the characters are doing or saying or just something that's happening that pushes the storyline forward. So we're looking for something that's going to maybe change the way the story plays out in the end. There are things in Rabbit and Coyote or in other stories that are just details and they're not going to push the story forward. So I'll be helping you find the events in this story, but I'll also be showing you where things are details instead of events. So I'm going to add in an annotation I would like you to do. Again, if you don't have your booklet, it's okay. Just follow along. So the new annotation we will be adding to this story is an arrow. Okay, so at the top, we're going to draw a little arrow, and I'm going to write that this means event. So now I'm going to actually start the story. This tale tells the story of Rabbit and Coyote. Rabbit came upon a big rock, and once there, he decided to deceive or trick Coyote. For Rabbit knew that foolish Coyote would fall for his trick. Sure enough, soon Coyote came by and Rabbit leaned against the big rock. My first event is that Rabbit came upon a big rock and decided to deceive or trick Coyote. The fact that Rabbit knew that Foolish Coyote would fall for his trick, that's a detail. The real event that I'm talking about ends here. Right, so it starts here. Rabbit came upon a big rock and once there, he decided to deceive or trick Coyote. That's the first event. The reason that's an event is because it pushes the story forward. If Rabbit hadn't decided to deceive Coyote, we wouldn't have a story, right? So Rabbit had to do that for the story to get pushed forward. So let's read on here. Sure enough, soon Coyote came by and Rabbit leaned against the big rock. Okay, so now Coyote is there, right? If Coyote didn't come by, we wouldn't have a story. So, I'm going to put my arrow here to show that's where the event starts. Coyote came by and Rabbit leaned against the big rock. Okay, so I have one event that starts here and ends here, and another one that starts here and ends here. So I have events one and two up here. One and two. And we can write the events in later. What are you doing, brother? Coyote asked Rabbit. Rabbit chuckled and then said in a serious voice, Come here quickly, brother, for the sky is falling down on us. You must lean against the rock and then hold it up while I go search for a stick that will prop up the sky. Okay, I'm going to pause here. I would like you to look at this part that I just read from paragraph two to paragraph three and put some arrows where you think the events are. What are you doing, brother? Coyote asked Rabbit. So Coyote's there anyway. Even if he didn't ask Rabbit what was happening, Rabbit would start tricking him, right? So this is just a detail. Coyote's just asking, what are you doing? It's just a detail, so we're not going to put an arrow on paragraph two. 
Rabbit chuckled and then said in a serious voice, Come here quickly, brother, for the sky is falling down on us. You must lean against the rock and then hold it up while I go search for a stick that will prop up the sky. So this whole paragraph is a big event. The reason for that is Rabbit is starting to trick Coyote, right? So Rabbit, the fact that he chuckled and then said in a serious voice isn't really part of the event, but the event starts here. Rabbit said, come here quickly, brother, for the sky is falling down on us. So that's the first part, right? He continues with, you have to lean against this rock and hold it up while I go search for a stick. All right, so Rabbit's telling him what he needs to do to hold up the sky. So I'm going to zoom back out. Okay, so here's my whole story here. And the third event just happened. Okay, so I'm going to write the third Number three here for third event. I'm going to continue the story. So move it over a little bit. Okay. Coyote, of course, agreed and began holding up the rock with all his might, doing exactly what Rabbit had ordered him to do. All right. Well, there's an event right there. Coyote started holding up that rock. Oh my goodness. Rabbit simply left Coyote holding the rock. And when Rabbit didn't return, Coyote shouted, Come back, brother! The weight of this rock is making me tired! But Rabbit did not come back. He ignored Coyote's pleas. So, there are details in here about how he's saying, Come back, brother! Right? The rock's too heavy. Um, but the main event is happening where Rabbit left Coyote. Right? So he simply left Coyote, and then he didn't come back and ignored Coyote's pleas. So I'm gonna say he didn't come back is the end of the event. So now we have events four and five, right? So we have four and five. There are a couple of events left. So pause and try to find the events in the end of the story. Let's see if you found the ending events of the story. So here we are. The sixth event, or the second to last event, is that Coyote gave up holding the rock, and then he fell in the ravine, right? So Coyote gave up holding the rock and fell in the ravine. I combined those two because it's the same part of the story. He gave up, he ran away, fell into this ravine. Then, after a while, he found Rabbit. So there is a sentence in there that says Rabbit never came back, but they already said that up here, that Rabbit didn't return. So that's just the detail. Um, so I started with, after a while, he found Rabbit. Rabbit was already planning another trick he could play on Coyote. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to write in all of these events. So I already started while you were looking for the last events. Event one is that Rabbit decided to deceive Coyote. Event two is that Coyote came and Rabbit leaned on the big rock. Event three is Rabbit told Coyote he needed to hold up the rock so the sky wouldn't fall. Event four <clears throat> is that Coyote agreed and he held up the rock. Coyote held up the rock for Rabbit. Notice I'm rewriting it in my own words. I'm not writing the entire sentence. That would just take too long. So I rewrote the event in my own words. Coyote held up the rock. Then <clears throat> Rabbit left Coyote. And didn't return. Okay, event six, Coyote gave up. It says gave up holding the rock, so he put the rock down, right? He put down the rock and ran into a ravine. All right, <clears throat> event seven is after a while he found Rabbit. So Coyote found Rabbit. Whew. 
who was already planning another trick. So these are the events that happened. Not every part of the story is an event. It's just the parts that push the storyline forward. What we did at this end of finding all the events is we put them in chronological order. Chronological, that's a really large word. What does chronological mean? Hmm. Yes, it means in order by time, right? So this event happened first in the timeline of the story. This event happened second in the timeline of the story. So chronological is in order by time. Now that we've practiced finding events and making them into a sequence of events, meaning putting them in chronological order, you have an assignment to do. This assignment is called Molly Whoopi Sequence of Events. Your job is to use the events in the table below to make a sequence of events from the story Molly Whoopi. The events need to be reorganized in chronological order. Order by time. You can use Control C to copy and Control V to paste, or you can select the text and drag it around wherever you want to put it. Um, control C works like this. You select it and then you hold Control on an Apple computer. It's called Command and you click C. So holding Command, clicking C. So I just copied it. I'm going to go down. Let's say I think that this event is the seventh event. I would go down to seven, hold Control, press V. So then it just goes straight down there. You don't have to drag. You just hold a key, press a key, and do the same thing again. So that's if I think that event belongs there. There are 21 events. So you need to make sure that you're reading that story again to double check you have the events in the right order. I suggest read the story, find the first event like we did in um, Rabbit and Coyote, and then actually look for it in this table and find it in order to help you. That way it's a little easier. So make sure you have your booklet, uh, make sure you're reading the story. If you haven't read it yet, you need to read it at least twice to really understand it. Okay, that's your assignment. Remember, access it on Google Classroom. It is due on Sunday. Good luck.